Hello, my name is Dominic House, and today I'll be reviewing the new DRX punch bag and giving you my thoughts and opinions and whether or not you should buy it. So let's go. So with gyms being closed, it's pretty hard to train right now for most people. So I was in the market for a new punch bag as my previous one got a couple of holes in it. So I looked online and came across the DRX punch bag had a look at the reviews and from the reviews it seemed really good it even came with a money back guarantee so i thought why not and as i ordered it from amazon you know it's amazon so you know it's just like that so uh yeah when it came uh it came in two boxes one for the base and one for the bag and within the bag it came with a connector for the base and the bag, a base protector, so you don't kick your shins on the connector. It comes with eight legs, and on each leg, it comes with two suction cups for extra support. And these also slide in and out, so you can choose whether or not to have extra support or not. They also throw in some gloves from their car range, but if I'm honest, I wouldn't use them especially with this bag because it's quite heavy and even in the instruction manual it even suggests that you should use protection like wraps as well so i probably wouldn't use them but you know for free can't complain it also comes with a funnel so it makes it easier to put in sand or water which is actually really helpful and a bag of screws so you connect the base to the base connector so let's talk about the quality of the bag. So the bag comes in a range of different colors. I chose gold. And on the bag, it has numbers on it. So this helps with coming up with combinations or, you know, um, placement, you know, so where you want to, you know, hit the bag and stuff like that. But feels really good. You can see that it's not a uh, low quality grade material. Um, yeah, I was actually quite surprised by the quality of the bag and the base the base is a tank I mean it's really kind of looks like a tortoise so um, you can see that it's gonna last a while as well so putting the bag together it doesn't take that long I would probably say maybe 20 to 30 minutes max and this all depends on whether you have like a hose so you can just put the hose in turn it on and then if you're filling with water it'll probably only take a few minutes but what I did I had to go back and forth from the my bathroom to the garden to fill up the the base so that took a while that was probably the longest process of putting the bag together uh, if you have sand I can imagine that would be pretty long but then it won't move at all it will be solid so yeah it took me a while to actually fill up the, the base with all the water so if you fill it up with water it says that it's going to weigh up to around 80 kg and if you use sand it could weigh up to i think it was 120 kg and metal sand i don't know where you get that from but apparently 150 so if you're filling up with sand or metal you probably want to make sure you put it in a correct place before you actually fill it up because it's not going to move i mean this thing is tanky even with water it doesn't really move so once i filled it up with water um one thing i found out that where the uh, cover for the water is is actually really well made it's kind of hit, hidden between the connector and the bag so there's no way for this to pop off while you're hitting the bag where with my previous one that i bought from amazon if you hit it well enough and the splashing of the wall back and forth it would knock out the cap exposing the the water and then it would just leak everywhere but due to the way it's built it sits underneath the bag so the cap's not going to fly off and just spill out water so it's really well designed in that sense um, putting the base connector together only takes a few minutes you just gotta align the holes with the connector and the base once you do that you put around the round uh, protector cover 
so you don't hit it with your shin and then put on the, the bag and bish bash bosh is done and that's it it's fairly simple to uh, put together so one thing I would suggest you do for the beginning if you want to move it around is to slide in the legs this makes it a little bit easier to move the bag around um, if the legs are out it makes it more sturdy so it's going to move less so I tend to find that when I'm hitting the bag it will move you know if I hit it with a lot of force it will move so then I have to reposition it so once you've got the place that you like make sure you extend the legs and this will make it a little bit more sturdy okay so let's compare my old bag to my new bag uh, my new bag the DRX sits around six foot whereas my old one is around five seven which is my height yes I'm pretty sure um, my new bag is pretty girthy <laughs> uh, and uh, my old one is actually pretty thin so that's a plus for the DRX um, also the DRX is a lot heavier like I said to you before is around 80k 80kg with water and with sand probably 120 kg whereas this one I don't know the weight per se but it's nowhere near 80k um, also the other thing is there's a little red hole like a button on my old one this had a tendency to pop out a lot because it's exposed to the water whereas my new one the way it's designed is put on the top the the base cover for the water and it's not going to come out because it's got a bag on top of it a really good design um, the DRX has numbers on it so that helps with visualization and shot placement whereas my old one only had a few lines at the top of it also another thing was that the metal was exposed so a few times I did kick it and it hurt a lot you could say that I was conditioning my shins but at the time it didn't really feel like that there are a few things that I like of my old bag over the DRX one being it's a lot easier to move because it's a lot lighter uh, two I would use it for ground and pound because the material was less well made I think it was like a cheaper level or something like that whereas the, my DRX I'm never gonna use it for ground and pound and another thing that I liked off my old bag was that uh, I could practice like wrestling moves with it because it was all connected as one whereas if I try to lift my new DRX it kind of the bag just pops out um, that's pretty much it of what I like off my old bag what can I say about this bag um, it feels amazing to punch um, the numbers like I said before really help it's quite tall so it, I can visualize fighting taller fighters um, it doesn't really move that much that would be its only negative I can honestly say that it's just a pain to move it but altogether man this bag is really good um, would I suggest you buying this bag <sighs> man I can't really find any faults with this bag um, when it comes to rating this bag I'm, I find it really hard to give something a 10 out of 10 you know <sighs> I would have to give this bag uh, 10 out of 10 honestly this is probably one of the best bags you could buy in the market right now um, obviously if you had a uh, a wall where you could mount a bag I would probably suggest that but generally speaking there's a lot of benefits of having a freestanding bag you can move 360 around it you can just take off the top which is another really nice feature about this bag is that I leave the base outside leave it to the element elements but the actual bag itself I just pop it up and I leave it in my cupboard so it's protected from the rain and you know the elements um, yeah I really cannot say anything bad about this bag um yeah it's bag solid sturdy uh it feels amazing to punch uh man and if i had sand 
it wouldn't move nowhere near as much so I would hate to say it like I said before but this is a 10 out of 10 I would recommend you buying this bag right now buy it add it to your arsenal um, and yeah I'm not getting paid by DRX it would be nice you know if they did pay me or you know gave me a like in a video but yeah no this this bag is amazing I would really recommend buying this bag um, yeah as gyms are closed and for the foreseeable future I can't see myself going back to any gym so I'm really happy with this so I'm just gonna keep on whacking it oh that's another negative that is actually so good that I think my neighbors are getting annoyed with me from the amount of times I'm just hitting it I can wail on this bag for like over an hour easy and not get bored you know what I'm saying just come up with new combinations watch an Instagram video you know like watch Damien Trainer, learn a new combination and whack the bag it's a pleasure it's honestly a really nice bag and I would recommend you buying it so that's my review um, please like and subscribe actually no don't subscribe right now because I'm not making that many videos just like the video and um, yeah thank you take care